Hi, this is John and I'm here to explain how to attach a template to a Microsoft Word document and then use the styles defined in the template to style the text in your Word document. If at any time you start to fall behind, pause the video until you catch up. Now let's get to work. If you do not already have the template file, email me at j-o-h-n dot f-e-r-g-u-s-o-n at w-i-s-c dot e-d-u. Again, that's john dot ferguson at w-i-s-c dot e-d-u and request the template from me. After you receive the template, put the template file on your desktop. At this point, our objective is to get the template saved in a default space on your computer so it's easy to access. Double click on the file to open it, and you'll see that it's a blank document. Now go to File and Save As. Type in the template name. For purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to call the template ASJ Word Template. In the Format pull-down menu, choose Word Template.dotx, and notice that Microsoft Word is going to automatically put the template in the My Templates folder. This is a good thing. It's the default place that Word will take you when it comes time to attach the template to your document. Now click Save. To avoid clutter, let's close our ASJ Word template.dotx file. Now let's attach the template to a Word file. Open the Microsoft Word file that you want to work on. Now, go to Tools, Templates and Add-ins, and when the dialog box comes up, most likely in the Document Template area, it will read normal.dotm. Click the Attach button. When the dialog box appears, you will notice that Microsoft Word has taken us directly to the folder we need. Select the My Templates folder and navigate to our ASJ Word Template.dotx file. Choose that file and choose Open. We are now back to our Templates and Add-ins dialog box. This next step is very important, simply because people tend to forget to do it. Choose Automatically Update Document Styles. Click the OK button. Congratulations! Our template is now attached to your Word document. You can check this by hovering over the Styles area and clicking the arrow below the Styles menu bar. You should now see multiple styles that begin with an asterisk. These styles are the styles that have been defined specifically for the African Studies Journals. Finally, we get to the part you've been waiting for, applying the styles to your text. Simply put your cursor in the paragraph to be styled, expand the styles ribbon just like we did a minute ago, and pick the style that needs to be applied. Another way to access the style menu is to click on the styles dialog box. This will bring up a menu that stays active on your screen. And now it's just a matter of choosing a paragraph and choosing a style to apply to that paragraph.
If you want to check your work or keep an eye on the styles you are applying, you can do so by showing the Style Area pane. To access the Style Area pane, go to Word and choose Preferences. In the Authoring and Proofing Tools area of the Preferences pane, choose View. About two-thirds of the way down the View pane is the Window area. Within the Window area, you will see the Style Area Width, and it will most likely be set to 0 inches. Type a 2 in the box and click OK. Go back to your Open Word document and choose View, Draft, or simply click the Draft View icon in the lower left corner of your screen. You should now see the styles that have been applied to the text. If you need to adjust the width of the style area pane, simply grab the vertical rule and slide it left or right. This now concludes our session on attaching a template to a Word document and applying styles to your text. Good luck and thank you.